right, now looking at some more difficult versions of algebraic expressions. Okay, these are where people get confused because it's hard to break it down and kind of do it and then they just kind of give up. But you're not a quitter, so you're not going to give up. I believe in you. That means believe. I believe in you. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're doing algebraic expressions. Let's say the, um, the words they give us are um, 7 less than the product of a number, those two should be two different words, don't worry about it, a number x and, that's how you spell and, 4, okay? 7 less than, 7's key, less than is the key, product is, and then x and 4, okay? 7 less than, that means you're going to subtract 7 from whatever you're doing here. So we can go ahead and put that down, minus 7. We don't know, it's probably going to go here, but it might go here. We're just going to figure it out, okay? 7 less than. Less than means you're taking it away, so therefore it's subtraction. Then the product of a number x and 4, okay? So we're finding product. That means, that's right, multiplication. So you're multiplying x and 4. So you're doing 7 less than the product of x and 4. So we're taking 7 away from 4 times x. And that's how you put that in an algebraic expression, okay? Now, what we're doing next is, let's do, let's do another one. Let's do another more difficult one, okay? Let's say we want to find one-third of the area of a number A, okay? So we want finding one-third of the area of a number, okay? So, what do you do to express one-third? One over three. Now, if you had one-third, and then think of actually a number. Say you want to find one-third of nine, okay? Let's just pick it. I know this isn't nine, but let's, it, sometimes it helps to put a number in there. Figure it out. No. Ezra wants to join us. Say hello, Ezra. Say hi. Okay, good deal. All right, so one-third of the area of a number, A, okay? So if we're finding the area of a number, let's say the number is nine. What would you do to find one-third of that? You know it's three. Because you know you can split 9 into 3 chunks, and 1 third of that would be 3. Well, how can you make this answer equal 3? We'd multiply, okay? Or you could stick 9 on the top and divide that by 3, and you get 3. So therefore, now look at it as that 9 is a variable. So we do 1 third times a, or we could do a over 3. Either one of those gives us our answer. So sometimes when you're putting these into algebraic expressions, pick a number that you can plug in for that variable, okay? Ezra, say bye. Say bye. That'll work. Say peace. That'll work. What up? Thank you guys for watching the math video. If you get a chance, check out tylertarver.com. I've got links to math videos and other stuff, whatever. Um, I've got a math YouTube, which is, you know, which you might be watching this on, you might not, whatever. If you could subscribe to that. And then also I've got a fun account. Eh, let's see if it's fun. But if you could check it out too, it's got some math and then some other stuff that's less math. All math, some math, and other stuff. Check me out on Instagram if you want. Also Twitter and Facebook. I know that looks like Tumblr. I'm just not very good. I have a Tumblr, but. Just Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're on YouTube and a regular one, you can click on these and go to them. If not, links in the description. <laughs>